problem intersection leads to another fatal accident in DeWitt Township, and police say it could have been prevented. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. The department says it's tried to convince MDOT that a blinking light on Old 27 at Webb Road isn't good enough. MDOT says a stoplight is not needed there, even though drivers have to cross five lanes of traffic to get across. Brian Johnson spoke with the police chief about the problem area today. This broken glass is a sharp reminder of just how dangerous the intersection of Old 27 and Webb Road is. Word is spreading that the 68-year-old woman who crashed at this intersection two weeks ago has died from injuries sustained in that accident. It's something needs to be done. We don't need any more of these kind of accidents with the side impacts, and we definitely don't want any more fatals. The chief says the intersection became more controversial after a mire was built nearby, which significantly increased the number of cars that use the intersection. For years, locals say they've been working to get a stoplight added to the intersection. It's insane, you know, and I understand that it, you know, people people aren't watching what they're doing, and um, but still, a red light would help. It would really help you at this intersection. This isn't the first accident at this intersection. In July 2010, ironically, an MDOT truck was hit in an accident with an elderly woman. The DeWitt Township Chief of Police says that at one time, this intersection was the worst for accidents in all of Clinton County. The problem is, is that you got to look at what kind of accidents we're having here. And that's the issue is a lot of side impact accidents. That's what that's where you get more injury. MDOT added this flashing light to increase awareness a little more than a year ago after a thorough study. Since then, the accidents per year have dropped from 17 to 7 last year. We are aware of this intersection. We have been studying it. We've been still um, looking at it even after the beacon has gone in. Um, I think it, if need be, we can go out there and do another signal study if enough time has passed since we put in that, that safety beacon. In DeWitt Township, Brian Johnson, Fox 47 News. MDOT says the federal government has established the criteria for intersections to get lights. While it will review the intersection, as of MDOT's last study, a traffic light was not warranted.